Man, they're always giving away free money at Dunkin' Donuts. I mean, how can this not be the land of the free home of the brain? Cool, we're headed to Dole Sportsplex uh, to do some strolling magic for some of the families that come in for an open house, but let me tell you. First, we're going to Dunkin' Donuts, the land of the free, home of the brave, the place where the nation state of Israel started. Is that a nation state? I don't know, that's a city. I didn't ask them to put veggies in my eggs. But here we are. So, me and Shane were up until 3 in the morning last night. We had to wake up at 7. So, four hours of sleep. We got three shows today. Um, two in Dulles, Virginia. And one in Owings Mill, Maryland. Or Highland, Maryland. Something like that. We're going to drive back probably at 9 p.m. As soon as I get home, I have to sleep and get up at about 4 a.m. and get to the airport at 5 and fly to Palm Beach, Florida for It Factor Live. So a, a couple things I wanted to say about last night. Um, me and Shane, we well, actually before we even left from Richmond, um, Shane was telling me about this awesome restaurant that's going to be in one of the areas we we're going to be at called Bartico and it was an amazing Mexican restaurant with these awesome tacos and good drinks. And he said, yeah man, um, uh, hopefully Bartico will be near, nearby, you know, you, you ever have t free time, you should check it out. So it's actually right next to the gig that uh, we were at, like at uh, Barcelona Wine Bar. And Shane's talking to somebody at the restaurant that we were performing at and he mentions the restaurant next door. And she goes, oh yeah, yeah, bar taco? <laughs> it's bar taco, not bartico. <laughs> it's just a bar that serves tacos. It makes a lot of sense. The first uh, experience I have with that with that show, or sorry, I, I said with that show, with that store, is um, I actually went there in Boulder, Colorado with one of my buddies, Braden, who's another magician. Um, he took me to to the restaurant. You like fill out these little forms and you put it up on this, on this like uh, little pinch system and then the waiters grab it and then they bring out your tacos so um, I guess if you're not very social it's a good restaurant for you because you don't have to talk to anybody um, while we were at the restaurant I actually got a phone call from some of my old buddies Austin and, and Jimmy and they were asking me if I can come hang out and um, I said you know I'm always doing this I'm always driving and, and working and staying in hotel rooms and doing shows and I, you know, I had to tell them, like, hey guys, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm out, you know, I'm working this weekend, I can't. And they're like, man, you're always working. They're like, well, when are you, when are we going to be able to see you? And that's something that I struggle with a lot is, like, when do I see my friends? Because I'm always giving myself, it was pretty much to you guys, to the audience, I never really have a chance to uh, work on my social life. And so when I tell them I couldn't be available, they're like, would you be available before Santa Claus comes? And I was like, right, listen, I don't even know. I'm, I'm going to try. So that's something that hopefully throughout this docu series, um, I figure out and, and learn a little bit more about myself and how to manage having friends and being a successful performer. So, because I think I could do it, I just have to say no to a little bit more shows, and that's something that scares me, you know. So, figure it out. What I've realized is that Ashburn is one letter away from being a horrible sounding disease. Rashburn, one letter. Just had a point that out for you guys. I'm going to get to head and set this up. I don't set this up for every walk around gig, but um, when I have a lot of space and I need to cover some stuff up, it's a good option. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's cold right now. I got to comfort him a little bit and get him feeling okay. You right, man? Look at me. He's good. He's all right. All right, I'm going to put you in here, man. I like the beard, man. I'm trying to grow it out a little yeah. bit more. Right? <laughs> hey guys, good morning. Good to see you. You guys look alike. I hope that's on purpose, yeah. right? Okay, good. Making sure. I was about to tell you something if you didn't know. <laughs> you promise? All right, here we go. This coin is going to go down the arm, down the fingers, and from here to there, to there, to there. What do you see in the smaller? Pull it. Stretch it. Magnets, strings, gaps, nothing. 
Scientology, anything? No? And then the medium rope, check it out for me. How does it look? Good. It looks good? Cool. So we've got a long rope, a medium rope, and a short rope. What's interesting is it's all based on misdirection, because if I hold it from this side, they actually look like they're all the same length. In fact, this one, this was the medium one, this one was the long one, and this one right here, that was the short one. Hold this for me, okay? Actually, put it around like a necklace like this. It gets confusing when we use three, we'll just use two. Actually, we'll just use one. Take the ends right off and toss it back on to the, cam or to the rope. Ready? Three, say go. Go. And they go back on the rope. You have to remember though, this is a trick with one, two, three ropes. And this was the long one. This one was the medium one. This one was the short one. Can you hold these three pieces for me just like this? Hold them tight in your hand and look. Now they're all back to normal. High fives, give me burgers, give me fries, like this, give me shakes. Cameron. That's called a combo deal, man, I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. We're headed over just about 30 minutes uh, west for a birthday party for some really big fans that have been counting down the days for the show for months. So I'm excited to show up and play really big. turn into traffic that Google Maps has just indicated might be the worst traffic I've ever been in because it was red, dark red for an hour. So it says it'll be an hour to get there, even though literally it should be at this point 30 minutes to get there. I took a wrong turn that added 30 minutes because of traffic and I guarantee you that traffic's gonna be probably about another 30 minutes before it clears up. So we're probably gonna miss this gig. No, nah, we probably won't miss the gig. We'll probably get there at about 30 minutes before showtime and have to set it up super quickly and, and run with it. I just called the client and let her know. Um, but honestly, th this, is, this is why I plan ahead. This is why I give myself an hour to be, to be there before the gig because traffic is something that you can't always avoid. Although this one was easily avoidable if I just didn't make the wrong turn. Fingers crossed. We're gonna start over, add some new ones. Here we go. Dog. Dog. Dog, like the animal. <laughs> All right, Sid. Hold on, I'm gonna drink some water. Let's start over. Ready? We're gonna try the game again. Here we go. Say, so do a dog noise. Ready? Dog. Cat. Lion. A giraffe! <laughs> Is that actually noise giraffes make? I don't know. Oh, you don't know? I don't know. So you can just let go, okay, Gobin? So what? Go, <laughs> Gobin, let go, okay? Gobin, it's not funny. Gobin. Gobin! Gobin! You're strong! How are you doing that, Kara? Give him to me. Give him to me, Kara. Dia, I trust you. Here, place them in. I'm watching you, Kara. Place them in. And don't reach in there when I'm not looking, okay? Because we have to work together as a team to get them to come out. Okay. It was you! A hole in the bottom oh, of the bag. Here. Oh, wow. I went to Magic Camp. You did? Yeah. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Back up Magic Camp? Yeah, he. He learned how to do the French drop. No way! Are you listening to this? These kids know how to do a French drop. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Chris Rams, angel spiritualist magician, teaching you how to get wrapped with balloons. All right, we first do this movement here. We give it a stretch, put it between the legs, and we get a good workout just like this and feel the burn. That's how you get ripped with Chris Rams angels. Let's go. T-Rex time. Ow, that actually hurt my fingers. Last show of the day is done. Literally in a few hours, I'll be on a plane down to Palm Beach, Florida. Um, this show was awesome. We had the lights really cool. The kids were super receptive, really uh, energetic crowd. And I got to do some of my favorite routines that haven't broken out in a while. Um, a girl had her toe start bleeding in the middle of my show. And 
I just stepped forward and let the parents clean up behind us and we went back and then act like nothing ever happened. And she was a super trooper about it. So really excited. And then the kids, the balloons, same as always, you know, just having fun with them, trying to make the most of it. Um, we pack up this show, go down to Richmond. Uh, actually, uh, we got to go a little bit further south than Richmond. And then I will just keep you guys updated on what's going on after that. Um, I feel like this whole weekend will probably be one episode, but no matter how it breaks down, I'm really glad that you guys are watching this. Thank you so much for checking this out and I'll see you next time.